Hello Leo, Leo Rising, and Leo Moon people. This is your weekly astrological and card horoscope for the week starting May 15th, 2017. And a quick reminder for your Leo people, I did actually end up changing my schedule, my availability, uh, due to some overwhelming requests. A lot of folks wanted a Friday availability, so I'm now working a Monday through Friday schedule. I haven't done that in a long time. We'll see how that goes. However, if you do want to get a session with me, you do need to go to my website, integrativemysticism.com. Uh, you can follow the links below, or you can just simply go there. That's where you schedule a session or order a downloadable video file. So what is going on with your car, with your astrology, excuse me, this week? Well, we've got a lot of good. This week is actually, for the most part, very calm, especially in the beginning of the week. However, on Thursday, we've got the Sun in Taurus in your 10th house of career, forming a gorgeous connection to Chiron, the wounded healer in your 8th house of shared resources, passive income, and self-employment income and venture capital. And there could be an opportunity to reunite with some lost funds or even a lost promotional opportunity or a lost work opportunity that you didn't think you were ever going to get to see again. This could also be a big break for a lot of you who have been trying to maybe get moving into a bigger circle or even start working for a job that has more opportunity for you in terms of growth. The nice thing about all of this is, is that a lot of this is coming with the help of others, maybe other people lifting you up. On Friday, we've got Saturn, currently retrograde, your fifth house of love, romance, and your relationship with your kids, forming a lovely trine angle to Uranus, currently in your ninth house of travel, higher education, government and legal proceedings, as well as your just personal expansion, mental expansion, social expansion, broadcasting, and all of that good stuff. And there could be an opportunity um, you know, with that Saturn retrograde, for you and a partner or you and a child to transcend some kind of barrier um, that has been keeping you or both of you out of the next uh, step up, whether you're trying to, maybe it's good news about a child getting into the college or university of their choice, the trip of a lifetime, or the dream vacation for you and a sweetheart, or possibly even an opportunity for you and a partner or you and a child to launch a business plan together and get a lot of good reception and a big audience or a big customer base right out the gate. If you're trying to get something like that launched, aim for Friday. So what is going on with your cards this week then, we may ask? Well, for your spiritual advice, we do have the card of the Merciful One, upright. And this talks about release through the acts of mercy and compassion. And this week you may have an opportunity to actually have a good healing relationship or the opportunity to heal a relationship with somebody that we don't actually care for, somebody that we may, that we may still feel hurt by, somebody that we have not forgiven, or a situation that needs to be forgiven that comes up because actually the act of forgiveness or the act of patching up does move us along or evolve us in another area of our lives. And with the Merciful One, it's important to pay attention to where this person and you do have a chance to reconnect, or this situation, and you do have a chance to patch things up in a way that is functional for the long term. This could be in any aspect of your life. But if we're still identifying with the hurt and the pain, or making a character out of it, it could be holding us back from a big breakthrough. So be careful with that. For your Earth Sector, when it comes to your work and finances, we do have the Five of Cups, upright. And this card's kind of interesting because it does kind of show where we do need to be paying attention to the need for forgiveness and actually giving somebody a chance or doing the right thing, even for somebody that we don't like, even for somebody that we feel like may have wronged us. How long is this situation going to go on? Are we going to take this pain and this grudge to the grave? Or are we going to actually move through it, again, with the act of that merciful one, so everyone can move on? This could be a situation where somebody who, again, we thought maybe burned us, screwed us over, does come through for us. But if we turn down this opportunity, we will regret it. Whether they help us get a job, help us promote ourselves, or help us proliferate our business, or even promote us, this is not a situation you want to, you know, we don't want to be that, well, not from that person. I'm not taking a freebie from that person. I'm not taking a gift from that person. This could actually be a peace offering that is better for you than anyone else. And the Five of Cups is just a warning of saying don't turn down a peace offering because you may be feeling jilted or jaded. You will regret it. 
for your communications with air, when it comes to your friends, your relatives, the others in your life. We've got the Nine of Cups, a uh, Nine of Pentacles, excuse me, Nine of Pentacles, reversed. So interestingly enough, it seems like our enemies are treating us better, and maybe our friends or our relatives might be treating us a bit wonky. Um, which, you know, it happens, it happens, that's, that's just life. And the Nine of Pentacles reverse can indicate a situation where a friend or a relative may be leaning too much on you to do for them what they should be able to do on their own, at least if they're an adult. Obviously disregard this if your child is 10, they need your help. Now if your child is 35, that's a completely different situation. The Nine of Pentacles reversed is, however, showing up here where you've got to be careful where a person is asking you to do for them what they do need to do for themselves. Whether it's having a special talk, delivering a special, special message, or spending money, time, and resources that really do belong to you and not to them. They may be taking a little bit of your generosity for granted, and a bit of a check-in on that wouldn't hurt. For your challenge this week with fire, we do have the Justice card reversed. Again, this week is all about fairness. And knowing that fairness has nothing to do with emotional preferences, or relationship preferences, or relationship-based preferences and morals. You know, the challenge with the Justice card reversed is sometimes we give too much favor to people just because we like them and we have history with them, but they're not doing anything to earn or maintain that respect anymore. And sometimes that can indicate a situation where somebody that we don't like is doing better by us. And the Justice card reverse is saying you need to focus on what is fair on a technical level. You know, we're going to be focusing more on fair is fair as opposed to emotional bias or psychological bias this week. If you're tempted to manipulate this or go against this this week, again, heed that warning. I know I'm giving a lot of warnings with this reading, but that's only because a lot of good can happen if we can get over these hang-ups. For your emotions with water and your romantic life, you've got the Strength card upright. No problems on the love front. In fact, things could actually be getting quite sexy. 18 over. Uh, for a lot of you, <laughs> for a lot of you, you Leo people out there, in fact, the Strength card upright can indicate an opportunity to fire things up or spice things up by spending more time physically with one another. Um, or either getting reacquainted with each other's bodies, if that makes sense. Ideal loving partners, or ideal physical partners, or activity partners, you know what I mean, will be abundant this week, but also with the Strength card, it's important to understand where that carnal pleasure can be expanded upon, and how do we give this something deeper meaning. Now, sometimes the Strength card can show up where people put too much emphasis on, you know, uh, on, on, on physicality. You know, if your self-esteem or, you know, your sense of worth or the, the relationship's worth is too wrapped up in the sex, it's time to temper that but still enjoy it. However, if we ain't been getting it enough, or again, we, maybe it's time to just spice things up a bit, the chemistry will be there. So that is your horoscope, Leo. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And, of course, if you ever want to get a session, you can always follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com.